Hi guys, Ru here with Latitude for Blender. In this one, I want to show you a really quick uh, tip on how to align stuff to um, to your shapes. So let me just very quickly turn cavity on and shadows on. I'm going to be using vanilla stuff, so you don't have to have any add-ons uh, whatsoever to do this if you don't have them. So I will show you how to do it in vanilla Blender, okay? So let's say that we have a cube, right? Okay, it's a small one. And now what we need to do with this cube, right? We want it to align it. Let's make it smaller. Align it to one of these edges, okay? Aligning this manual will be quite annoying, especially if the edge is at like an odd angle, because this one is at 45 degrees. But what if it wasn't? Okay, so let's you know, let's let's argue that it isn't. Oh, in fact, we could do this. Um, we could create our custom angle by simply GZ and moving this face. Now this is definitely not a 45 degree angle, right? So how would we align this cube to the middle of this uh, of this angle of this edge? Well, there is a cool tool in Blender here on the top, right? And this is a snap tool, all right, which is pretty cool with like a small magnet here, okay? So now this snap tool, how it works? Let me show you. Um, you can align stuff to different uh, to different um, either geometry types of geometry or or um, um let you know places in, in in on the grid etc like increments so let's say we're going to stay in an increment and i'm going to grab this cube and press g and hold control and now i'm going to stop in increments to the grid you see so it's going to stop uh, meter by meter because this grid is one meter by one meter okay if i'm going to switch it for example to face it's going to snap to faces if i hold control you see the only thing is that the cube doesn't rotate okay to make it rotate you need to select this option align to rotation to target and now i'm going to start rotating uh, to these faces but i said we wanted to align it to the edge so we would need to change this to an edge and then when i'm going to hover my mouse over this uh, edge you can see that the cube is going to start aligning to whichever edge i'm going to point at the only problem is that well we have two problems one of them is that the cube is sunk in to the geo right and also it's um well it's not in the middle we want it to be in the middle right so how to do this well you go to this option here and first of all what you do is select center so it will snap with its own center you see now it's snapping with the center which is in in the case of this cube where the origin point is okay so now it's going to snap with a center okay that's one thing but now how are we going to align this to the middle of this edge well we're going to select this object and go to edit mode so you press tab and press 2 on your keyboard in my case i'm using machine tools add-on which is a free add-on and it's superb so you should just get it um and you know but in your case it's going to be tab and press 2 or click here to get to edge mode select this edge Press Shift S and um, to select it. So you're gonna move cursor to select it. Your menu Shift S menu may look a little bit different because I'm using machine tools, um, but you know uh, Shift S menu is basically the same shortcut as in vanilla. So simply put, um, uh, machine tools incorporates the uh, cursor movement and object movement with um, origin point movement, which is hidden in here in vanilla blender but we're not going to be using this one in this uh, video uh, now we're going to move this object to the cursor so shift s and object to cursor and now we get this cube perfectly aligned you know to its target right see another problem in here is that this cube is not really rotated properly so it's not perpendicular to this face right so what you can do is go here and press n to open this tab go to item and simply reset this y axis to zero okay and this will reset the rotation so now we're in a perfectly uh, mathematical middle of this edge and we can start slicing so let's make it a bit bigger or in fact a bit smaller and if you have a bull tool installed you can just simply press ctrl minus right wait a minute so like this one this one and ctrl minus there we go now you get a bullion perfectly in the middle of this edge which is, you know, aligned and everything is peachy. Um, if you do not want to use, so by the way, bull tool is an add-on comes with Blender. It's used for bullions. So if you don't have it, go to preferences, add-ons, type bull, click this box, save preferences, and now you can use shortcuts such as 
control uh, numpad plus minus or forward slash. There are different options in here which you can play with, like for example, alignment to face, you know, volume, edge center, etc. So this is quite interesting, um, quite interesting menu. Now be warned that uh, this this magnet, if you leave it on, um, it will cause permanent snapping. Okay, so if you move something and hover your mouse over any shape, for example, like an edge or a face or a vert depending what you're snapping to, it will perma snap. okay? So I prefer to have it off and, you know, press control when I need to snap something. So anyway, guys, that's how it works. It's a quick tip for you. It's a very useful tool and I, I use it quite often to align stuff if I, you know, need a quick alignment. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And also, like I said, Grab Machine Tools, it's a free add-on, it's fantastic, it's by the same creator of Decal Machine and Mesh Machine, which are brilliant add-ons, I got links in the video description to Machine Store, so go and check them out. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.